your state is now reporting five pediatric deaths as health officials predict the triple demic. Health officials predict the triple demic. Health officials predict the triple demic of COVID, the flu, and SUV will make a strong comeback this week and continue into the new year. And continue into the new year. And continue into the new year. As CBS 2's Christian Benavides reports, it's all due to travel and holiday gatherings. Just as cases of respiratory illness were starting to drop, health experts are issuing a warning. I anticipate that we are going to have a post-holiday surge. Dr. William Schaffner from Vanderbilt University is most concerned about the flu. With all of the travel, all the joyous reunions over the holidays, there will be many opportunities for these for this virus, this influenza virus, to be transmitted and spread even further. COVID-19 remains a concern with around 300 Americans dying every day. And experts predict RSV, strep, and the common cold will infect and increase the number of people in the new year. All these respiratory illnesses are driving up demand for children's medicines, and some pharmacy shelves are now empty. There's nothing on the shelves. It's just so ridiculous how difficult it's been just to get children's Tylenol. If you see some Tylenol or profane, you better grab it. To combat part of the problem, the government released reserves of Tamiflu. And to prevent stockpiling, CVS, Target, and Walgreens are now limiting purchases of over-the-counter children's medicine. Health experts say in a pinch, adult medication can sometimes be adapted for pediatric use. For the kids that are able to swallow pills and the dose works out properly, sure, usually once kids get over 110, 120 pounds, that's going to match up with an adult dose. Health experts caution before offering an adult medication, parents should talk to their child's pediatrician to avoid exceeding the recommended dosage. Cristian Benavides, CBS News, Miami. And health experts say parents should also remember that medications are in short supply and to uh, simply make their child comfortable. Not having the medication will not lead to any kind of medical complications. Not having the medication will not lead to any kind of medical complications. Not having the medication will not lead to any kind of medical complications. Not having the medication will not lead to any kind of medical complications. Not